Once you select the Create Time Card Action, you will see a box where you can enter time card details, such as employee name, supervisor, pay shift, and date. Once you enter the information and select Create Card, this will take you to the Show Time Card screen. From here, you can edit time card details by changing the supervisor, pay shift, date, or comments. You are also able to load data from Maximo and add, edit, and delete labor and or absences. To add or edit labor, you need to enter the task number and the building gets automatically populated. You then add the regular overtime and or callout hours as applicable. You can also enter phase code, craft, TT skill, equipment number, and hours if applicable. Once the labor is added or edited, there will be a status bar displayed notifying you that the labor has been added or updated. To delete a labor entry, you can select delete and a text message will pop up for your confirmation. Once a labor entry is deleted, there is a status bar notifying you that the action has gone through. To add or edit absences, select either option. You can select the absence type, add the number of hours, and select FMLA and or the 3 for 1 flags if applicable. Select Save and you will see a status bar notifying you that the absence has been added or updated. <clears throat> to delete an absence, you can select Delete next to the entry you'd like to delete and a text message will pop up confirming if you want to delete or not. Once an absence is deleted, there is a status bar notifying you that it has gone through. And that is how a supervisor creates a time card.